A Las Vegas park is getting a new name to honor fallen officer Igor Soldo. Soldo, along with his partner Alan Beck, were shot and killed last summer as they stopped for lunch at an East Las Vegas pizza shop. The killers were later cornered and shot dead by officers inside a nearby Walmart. Soldo's park will be in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley as part of the Sky Canyon development. Both officers, Alan Beck and Igor Soldo, were fathers, and now other families can run and play in a space dedicated to their memory. Memory and sacrifice. The Nevada Department of Transportation is inviting the public to comment on planned transportation projects and improvements outlined in the Transportation System of Projects document, which includes the statewide transportation improvement program and work program. These projects improve the capacity of Nevada's transportation system, such as increasing the number of lanes, constructing new roads, road extensions, and intersection improvements, along with certain road maintenance projects. It also includes transit, rail, pedestrian walkways, and bicycle facility projects. NDOT works closely with metropolitan planning organizations, counties, cities, tribes, and other local agencies to develop a comprehensive statewide planning document to meet the transportation needs of the traveling public. Through this process, there are public comment periods, workshops, and collaboration of various state and local agencies. For more information, go to NDOT's website. State officials have agreed to a final incentive agreement for a $5 billion lithium-ion battery plant being built in Nevada by Tesla Motors. The $1.3 billion agreement allows the electric car company to apply for refunds for certain local tax payments, with the first request covering payments made from October 17th to December 17th. One of the state's stipulations in the agreement says Tesla must employ at least half of its construction workers from Nevada. About 73% of the workers hired at at the site so far have been in-state residents. Tesla has invested $183 million in the plant, and the company expects to employ 6,500 people upon the facility's completion. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.